Blessings, 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 wonderful people of God. It's your boy, Minister Change, the minister that meet people where they at and love on them like our Lord Jesus Christ does. I want to bring to y'all today an important topic about your life. I want you to know that people opinion of you don't determine your destiny. Don't never let what nobody say about you break your courage, break your strength, or break your spirit. In the scripture, 1 Samuel 16, 7, it reads, The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward, but the Lord looks at the heart. God always look at your heart. This scripture here explains that God looks at your heart. People can try to judge you from, from the outside, but it's not about what people think. God always look at your heart. There was a story in the Bible where Samuel was instructed by God to anoint David as the future king. David was the younger son. I mean, he was often underestimated, you know, all the brothers and everybody. They used to always look down on him. They was like, no, there's no way he can be anointed to be the king. Look at him. He's little. He's scrawny. I mean, he just can't be to be the king. But with God, we got to understand that the outward appearance, it doesn't always mean anything. See, people have the tendency to judge people based upon the way they look. People, personal aspirations and, 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 and things, when they see and when they view the different things of life, they tend to judge people off of their own mind frame. But what we think and what we know, it might not be the same thing that God has. There's a message about God's perspective. God talks about things in our heart beyond our physical appearances. See, the values and the qualities that God sees in your heart, you know, it's something that no man or no woman or no individual can see. God sees your character, your faith, your love, and your commitment in the personal relationship that you have with him. We have to really think about our lives. What do we want to be? What do we want to do in life? We can't let people constantly break our spirit and break us down. See, God sees beyond the physical appearance. See, David, David was just a shepherd boy. God saw him as king before people even believed he was a king. God see you as a king or a queen before people even believe that you are a king or queen. God see you falling into greatness and people see you as a failure. People do not understand that what they think is a failure is for the future that God is going to sit you into greatness. See, there's a lot of ways to overcome the, peop the opinions that people have you. First thing, never let nobody or nothing or anything that comes into your life take you off the path of greatness. Every man and every individual on this earth is just a man. It doesn't matter. They don't determine where your life is going or who you're going to be or what you can be. Never get wrapped up in their lives and the stuff they're talking about. We have to really understand a couple of things in life. For one thing, you got to try to make God the head of your life. The second thing, 
you got to have faith. The third thing is you got to do the works. The enemy is ambushing the people of God. There's always angels and demons at a tug of war for your life. But you have to try to understand that God has put you on this earth for a position for greatness. Whether you accept it or not, that's what God has for you. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, many are called, but few are chosen. And you don't know if you were just called or if you were chosen. But as you start to explore the love of God, you will understand your destiny. Just as God saw David's heart, he sees the potential in us. I encourage y'all, my people, the listeners, to embrace your true self. Your God-given destiny will prevail no matter what the opinions of of people around you. You can't let people's opinions around you break you down. Always remember, people. People's opinions of you does not count. Sometimes I look over my life and I think about the people said, he'll never be nothing. He'll probably end up in prison. Man, he's going to be just like his brother. Man, he's going to be just like his family members. Oh, man, he's going to do this. He's going to do that. But they don't understand. Nobody understand. You could be your generational curse breaker. See, the devil comes in all types of forms. Don't be fooled. The devil comes in the form of preachers, teachers, lawyers, cops. It doesn't matter. The devil does not segregate. The devil comes in all types of forms in life. So you can't let them break your spirit. You know, I'm just asking y'all to have strength, to have courage, and find guidance throughout your destiny. God intended us to trust in his vision. But at times, we get swayed by other people's opinion. You know, I remember times living in a house with no electricity. And we would light candles and my mama would pray. And she would pray and she would pray. And as she was praying, I was thinking that the lights should just pop on. Because as a kid, you don't understand how prayer really works. But she would pray and she would pray, Lord Jesus, please help me provide for my children. Okay, the lights didn't pop back on. But in the near future, the lights came back on. It was because of my mama's faith that eventually the works came with the faith. Everything was okay. You know, life, it's not promised, man. We go through so many things in life, man. We have people to judge us that don't even know us. You can't let people cause you to take a detour in life when a road ahead of you is open. You only take a detour in life when you have no other option. God sent his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, to die for our sins. And you knowing that Jesus Christ died for our sins, hmm, we are solid, we are golden. We have the opportunity to go be with our Lord Jesus Christ in eternal life. Amen, amen, amen. It was your boy, Minister Change. Just give y'all a, a, a quick sermon, a quick word of encouragement, just to help uplift y'all. As I said before, don't let nobody determine your destiny. Your boy, Minister Change, can't get up out of here without giving y'all a word of encouragement or the blessings. So if you listen, if you're watching this broadcast, 
Can you please bow your head with me as I love, offer the Lord Jesus Christ to you? Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner. I ask for your forgiveness. I believe you died for my sins. Right now, at this moment, I turn from my sins and invite you into my heart and life. I'm going to trust you and follow you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. If you bowed your head or if you just heard that scripture, trust God. Go find you a Bible-believing church. Let God do the rest. Nothing is going to change overnight. You got to have faith, do the works, and watch how God work it out, man. God loves us, man. You don't have to be bound to poverty. You don't have to be bound to anything in your life. All you need to do, man, is trust our Lord Jesus Christ. And let them activate it for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Stay blessed. A word from your boy, Minister Change, the minister, that meet people where they at, and love on them like our Lord Jesus Christ does. God's blessings. Keep supporting me. Follow me. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Hey, all you got to do is hit me up on my link tree, Change Center the Saints, and you can always get a blessing. In Jesus' name. Amen.